All right, another way to think about adding and subtracting decimals is to think about what is one tenth more or less than a number. So not just adding on or subtracting anything, really one tenth more or less. So there's a couple ways we can think about it. We can either sort of look at the number and kind of think about what it means and find uh, one tenth more or less, or we can um, just straight up like add or subtract like we have in the last lessons. Okay, so if I say, okay, what is one tenth more than 37 and 26 hundredths? Well, I know I have two tenths right now, so what's one tenth more than that? Well, it's going to be 37 and 36 hundredths. I just changed the two to a three. I just added on one to my tenths place. I could also write it out because sometimes it's helpful to actually write it down. Six, three, seven, and three. Okay, notice either way I got the same thing. Now, what is one tenth less than 15 and six hundredths? This one is a little harder because if I look at the tenths place and I say, okay, I have zero. How do I get one tenth less than zero tenths? This is where I could think, okay, I can change one of my holes, which is the same thing as 10 tenths. So then I have nine left. So I'd get 14 and 96 hundredths. Now, if that was like, what in the world, Mrs. Morrison, are you talking about? Just write it down, subtract, because we're talking about less than. Okay, I can add that zero, because remember, one-tenth is the same as ten hundredths. Six minus zero is six. I can't do zero minus one, so I need to borrow. Four, that becomes a ten. Ten minus one is nine. Decimal, four and one. Again, same thing. If you have trouble visualizing them, just write it down. There is nothing wrong with writing it down, depending on how comfortable you are uh, with mental math. Now we can get some word problems. Again, just one tenth more or less. So the amount of water in a jar at the beginning of the day is uh, 525 thousandths of a liter. During the day, one tenth of a liter evaporates. How much is left at the end of the day? Well, first of all, let's think, okay, we have this jar. It has about half a liter in it, purple water. Um, and so then if some evaporates, what does evaporate mean? Hmm. Evaporates means it's changing from a liquid into a gas. So it's leaving. It's becoming less. I will have less water at the end of the day if some of it evaporates. So what is one-tenth less? Then 525 thousands of a liter. Well, I can say, okay, I have five in my tenth place. One less than that is four tenths. I'm still going to have my 25 thousandths. Or I could actually do the subtraction. Zero and one tenth. Put my zeros. Five, two, four, zero. Decimal down. All right, so whether, again, I conceptualize it or I write it down, I'm going to get the same answer. One more. Emilio's dog had a mass of 9 and 36 hundredths kilograms when he last brought her to the vet. Since then, his dog has gained one-tenth of a kilogram. How much does the dog weigh now? Okay, starts as 9 and 36 hundredths. The dog gained one-tenth. What is gaining? What's well, getting more? So we're adding weight onto the dog. So either I can think, okay, I have three-tenths, adding on another tenth, so I'm going to get 46 hundredths. Or I can actually do plus one-tenth, six, four, nine. Again, either way, same thing. If you want to go over some more examples, just ask. There's not too many practice problems uh, for this one, but make sure you are doing your work on a whiteboard or your notebook if you need to do that.
All right, good luck.